Good morning, children. In today's class of our English, we are going to start with the new block, block twenty-four and twenty-five. With this, we'll be completing our portion, and you are also going to have your final exams from next month. And we'll be starting revision also. So follow the revision and learn your portion properly. Do your exams. correctly and neatly wishing you all the best i'll start with the new block block 24 will be informational text student understands that informational text or non fiction texts that have unique purpose and features and block 25 is writing to inform and the block is from thorn hedges to barbed wire if you see the picture in the content book page number 141 you can see the animals in the open area and they are covered with the wire that is they are safeguard in that place they're not going to move around from that place and we'll see from thorn hedges to barbed wire by mary silva tuner if you see on the page number 142 the natural environment animals live in nature that's their natural habitat or the place where they live right so we'll see what is the problem and what is the solution and where it is been taken place huge plains covered the middle west part of the united states of america if you see here the plains are covered the middle west part of the usa that is united states of america and the place what we are talking about is rolling hills the rolling hills were full of grass as far as you can see or you could see so when if you turn and see around there is everywhere grass the drier areas had short bushes and thin trees if you see the grass is all around but there are also short bushes and thin trees very few big trees grew in the grassy landscape at first only the native people lived this in this area so at this place only the natives used to live later on europeans moved in and settled here and few of them were into farming and few of them were into raising the livestock what is a livestock if you see in the page number 145 livestock animals kept by farmers for food or wool right livestock is the animals such as cows pigs and sheep right they usually kept by farmers for food and also for wool this is livestock and what is the problem faced by the farmers joseph glidden was a farmer who lived on the plains so they had a problem at that time cows and sheep would often escape and wander away underline the word wander also what is wander to walk without knowing where you are going so when we take the animals for grazing the grass they would wander away can you imagine the problems this caused farmers did not want the crops eaten by livestock see when they wander away and they move around they eat whatever they get it they also eat the crops which are grown by the farmers and ranchers did not want to leave lose their livestock and then have to chase after them so if some animal come into your crop you chase them right they wouldn't make wooden or stone fences because wood and stone were scarce on the plains so there was a problem by the farmers and the ranchers the animals would wander away and the ranchers used to chase the livestock so they couldn't make fences with wooden or stone because they were scarce 
on the planes. What is the word scales? When there is not much of something, it is scales. So there were no wooden or stone on the planes. Something had to be done. Farmers and ranchers needed a different strategy. What is the word strategy? A plan made in order to achieve a goal. So now they want to make a solution for the problem. So they are making a strategy. Right? They began to fence in the livestock with thorny bushes. Now these are called the thorny bushes of Osage orange trees. This is Osage orange trees. This is how the branches look. They look like the thorns. And this is the Osage orange fruit. Strong thorns circle their thick and straight branches. Livestock did not want to run into them, so they stayed away. They made a fence with this Osage orange trees. And livestock also not used to move because they don't want to get hurt with the thorns. Joseph knew that the bushes made great fences, but the plants took a long time to grow. So these Osage orange trees would take long time to grow. It was also hard to grow bushes around a large piece of land. There had to be a better solution. He had heard that metal wire was cheap and common. He decided to make artificial thorny bushes from metal. What is artificial? Something made by humans and not by nature. So these thorns are the natured one, right? The plants grown in the nature. But he wants to make it from the artificial metal. So this is till now. So you all read the page number 142 and 143. You will understand what is the natural environment, livestock and the crops grown by the farmers and the what problem they are facing and what is the solution that they are thinking of. Okay, we will see what is the final solution to the block tomorrow. Okay, now you will be doing in the volume book the features of informational text so there are few features for the informational text that is a title there should be a title subtitle a difficult vocabulary diagrams with captions charts graphs and maps real photographs and the glossary so these are the features of informational text. It is given in the daily schedule also. So what is the purpose of the block? I think the author wrote this story to inform us because it teaches us something new about the farmers of the Middle West part of the United States of America. So difficult of farming and also safeguarding the livestock. So you all complete the given work in the daily schedule. Follow the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye children.